Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for still continuing watching my videos and supporting to my channel. And please click the notification bell so that you will be alerted when I post a new video. Today's episode is about the age gap and the reality of the senior foreigner has been dying or becoming handicapped or worse and his young Filipino companions future welfare and well-being we all have heard and know the stories a foreigner either cohabitates or married a young and beautiful Filipina half his age more or less and he died suddenly no funeral arrangement or planning was never discussed or made. She has given up her job at his request and it's too old according to the Philippines business standards and restriction to find work. Regardless of education level and still relatively young, he rescued her from poverty, but his death has resulted in her returning to poverty much older, less marketable in terms of the job market, and less attractive to other foreigners. Because many foreigners' benefits or financial portfolio do not extend to the Philippines or spouse or companion. She is financially deprived and mentally depressed and full of anxiety, fear, and stress. Filipino women don't like to talk about death, the reality of age gap relationship. But Mike had the hard conversation with his girlfriend and talked the following, but all not inclusive actions number one make her quit her full-time job and match the salary and allowance therefore she had more free time with him and her child and no expenses and number two had her establish and put three thousand pesos a month in the bank account she can attach the account because it's money for after Mike's death. He recently increased the 3,000 to 5,000 pesos a month. Number three, helped her get all government required identification cards for doing transaction in the Philippines. And number four, purchased her Philippine health insurance which she did not previously have for herself and son. Number five, developed a comprehensive plan to ensure she saved money every month, taking into consideration any financial support she was giving her parents. And number six, establish debit and credit financial card as appropriate and tough for their use and security measure and the value of credit. Number eight, inform her how to access his money in the States appropriate contacts, and how to use remit resources. And number nine, tough and help her to develop YouTube knowledge skills and abilities and develop a new channel for her to work real estate, marketing, and so forth. Number 10, planned land purchase as an additional level of future security for her and son and to build a house in the future and number 11 mike staying flexible now by renting 
while developing the resources for his girlfriend to return and live close to the family permanent if she so desires. I could go on forever, but the purpose of these videos is to highlight how Mike has truly planned for these events and reality by taking the not all inclusive actions to educate his girlfriend and ensure her welfare and well-being and his bad health or God forbid death. His primary goal is to make his girlfriend and son better off than before the beginning of the relationship. I think his plan is great and achievable. Mike is not a rule model, but he is a man that age gap foreigners should emulate if they truly love their young companion. In addition to this, that I am also that have, I mean, I also have that kind of experience because me and my husband has a age gap and then even we've been separated for six years, but he will secure me and Laura's future and our welfare and well-being because he doesn't want us to be back from poverty. So uh, if, if you love the person or if you love your companion, you will do, uh, you will do all of your best for their welfare and well-being and for their security in the future. Thank you and God bless.